way back. Check my trooper, please. Okay. Ooh, ah. We're going in directly to the key lock that we trained before. With uh, the sergeant here in his very unflexible wrist. Then we tell him to bring his other hand back. And it's the same thing. I'm going to reach through, secure, and get that hand in. Now, here are things that, uh, here are things that I am. Uh, so you're more than happy to just protect my troopers. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying the same, okay. saying the same I'm saying the same distance. I am, I just want to protect my troopers. From what? Just, I don't want you too close to safety. From what? Just anybody, sir. They have guns. I don't have a gun. Doesn't matter, sir. I've gotten one wrist in, and basically I just turned off right the end on it and pushing the wrist away to get it to get it tightened down. Like that's that's just it, it is what it is, right? So I would encourage you to think about things like that um, and, and prep it in your mind before you start uh, before you uh, start putting them on. Now, second thing I want you to think about is once you once you take someone in custody we have to keep our eyes right and that yes essentially pulls you off the line but when someone is in custody we have to maintain observation you know, mind y'all they don't carry body cameras so everything that's done is not filmed outside of dash cam footage How do you deem if the flex cuffs are too tight on somebody's hands? That, that, sir, is a good question. So if I can fit two fingers into the flex cuffs and the flex cuffs are not too tight, that is per, per policy, two fingers. Also, one thing I want you to keep... So y'all hear the two-finger policy on um, flex cuffs? Is not a, uh, it's not a good way once you go to uh, release the subject, once you get them to uh, release the subject, once you get them to release the subject, once you get them to containment, uh, pocket knife is not the preferred way to open. Uh, we have uh, medical scissors in our uh, in our bug out bags. So they talk about, about bug out bags. We got bug out bags too. So we're not going to worry about overshooting, cutting someone, and it's uh. As y'all can see, these officers right here are left-handed. They have their hands in the uh, left-handed holsters. Put a break. Uh, yes, well, this is who will be up against us um, in case we decide to protest again, or when we decide to protest again. It's always hard to find black police officers in the mix. So hopefully one day soon that the uh, state troopers will get body cameras. How can we get some body cameras on these guys and gals? Uh, just just, just yeah, going over there with them. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Appreciate it. He got on a Hawaiian shirt. He might be a boogaloo boy. So we can't get any body cameras on you guys? So again, if you have any questions regarding policy or uh, how we yes, how we move throughout these things, I'll direct you to contact our PIO for answers. Do you have a car for her? Or is that her? I've been in touch with her before, sir. Uh, she's uh, Sergeant Michelle Knight. Michelle! She already knows she's okay. Don't be whistling at women. That's fucking... The... Come on, man. We don't do whistling. Good. Can I answer any questions for you? Um, do you have a car? We just want to find out how we can get body cameras on the troopers. Um, because like I said, a state trooper killed Xavier Hill, and all we have is dash cam footage. So we would like to know how we can get body cam footage on officers. You have to FOIA it. Freedom what? of Information Act. No, I know what a FOIA is. Okay. But I'm just saying, as far as getting 
we want body cameras on these officers and they're saying that right now a politician has to do that that's oh, not so that yes you, the politicians we get all our money from taxpayer money right so as of right now they have not funded us with that Okay, so, so what you need to do is contact um, all the politicians and ask them for that money. We would love to have body cameras. Okay, so is anybody specifically, is it um, uh, they all, Commonwealth, it all uh, com not, Commonwealth Attorney, uh, House of Delegates, Senators, um, what branch of no, governor, no, we, Lieutenant we, Governor, what, what branch of governor will we need to particularly no, participate? the people that you vote into office. It's not the Commonwealth Attorney. That's what I'm it's, saying. We, we vote yeah, the Commonwealth Attorney, too. Yeah, your Senators and your Delegates, okay, the so, ones who represent... Um, all the citizens in the state of Virginia. Yes, yeah, so we just imagine that y'all being state troopers, we would have to take it to a state level official, and not necessarily a citywide all, all official. All state level officials, yes. Okay. So everybody that that are voted into office by the citizens of the Commonwealth, they have to vote on that. Okay. So we are expect we want the funding. We would love to have the funding, but it has to be approved by all of them. Okay, so they have. So the, as they of have right the, now, it has not been approved. So they have the funding for the Bobcat. Uh, we don't want to call them tanks. We have funding for the Bobcats, the assault rifles, the Bearcats, and, and all the other equipment. But they don't have funding for body cameras, is that, what we're saying. Like I said, you would have to take that up with the officials. Like okay. I said, uh, taxpayers' money, and it's a lot of money to outfit. Um, unfortunately, since we are the state police, we're across the state. So there's a mm -hmm. lot more of us than like if you actually have a city local law enforcement. So yeah. the city doesn't have that many to outfit. We have to outfit over 2,000 troopers with body cameras. And then also you have to house somewhere. So if the body camera goes down, it has to be maintenance. And also um, the recording, if that has to be housed somewhere. So it's a lot of money involved. So that's what we are waiting on. Okay, so, so, so just in our instance, we know that the Virginia Beach Police Department is the largest city in the state. And we know I they're- I can't speak of Virginia Beach because I'm not, I'm, I don't work for them. No, well, I'm letting you know. So Virginia Beach is the biggest state, in, oh, is the biggest city in the state, and they have the largest fund for um, policing. And so, um, and even still, it it is kind of perplexed to think that every single city cop is able to have a body camera. And I'm pretty sure if you calculate every single city cop in the entire state of Virginia, so it, the was, it will be are, over the. So funded by their own city. Right. So but we're if, funded by the state, which is across the entire state of Virginia. Yes, but so I'm, I'm just saying. So if, if, if you let me finish, I would have said that. All the different cops around the state outnumber state troopers, I would imagine, between city cops and county police, etc. I would imagine that those cops outnumber the state police because they're, you know what I'm saying, pretty much located in, okay. in, in every state. So with that, if, if they're able to fund all the city cops, I'd imagine there'd be a budget to... Who is to they? You're, uh, um, so you're still losing me. Like I said, the city that taxes their own people in their city. So you have city taxes mm. and then you have state taxes. So the city taxes, they do pay for the cities, they fund it. Yes, correct, you're absolutely correct. So we don't we don't get funding from the cities, we get funding from the state, the entire state. And so the city funding like doesn't come basic, from the state? It's, it's basic government 101. No, I'm just saying, so the city state, the, the city uh, funding doesn't come from the state ultimately? Or it, no. it's... This, you have city taxes and the city, the city, um, the citizens of the city. What the fuck are you side. doing, bro? Like, you don't see us standing here? He's just trying to leave. Is he in a rush? Like, is he, he has a call to get to or something? Um, more than likely, we don't know. We're, you just said you're on water on. break. <laughs> That's cool. That's understandable. It's just so, typical yeah, it's, policing. It's, it's not typical policing. It's, it's just, it's, it's common sense. It's government 101. It's understanding how your taxes work. So, mm -hmm. so where do you live? I live in Hampton. Okay, so you pay Hampton taxes, correct? Correct. Okay, but you also pay state taxes at the end yeah. of the year. So when correct? I get my taxes, I get so state, you get state taxes, and federal. It doesn't say state, city, so federal. So your federal pays for your, your law enforcement at the federal levels, your U.S. Marshals, your FBI, your Secret Service. Okay? okay. So we're at the state level. So you've got state police, you have your Marine Patrol. There's many different types of police officers at the state level. And then you have your city police officers. So there's three different levels of policing. So you've got your city, your localities, then you have your state, and then you have your federal. They're all funded differently. Okay. So it's not the same. So, right. so I understand that you believe that Virginia Beach has all this money. Yeah, they actually do because they do have a, a, a lot of people that come in and bring money into the city. So every city is different. Every city charges different state tax, different city taxes, and then you also have to pay your state taxes. So our, our thing with that too is, state. so you have funding from state, but here in the state of Virginia, so we have a large college base, and then we also have a large military base. There's Langley, uh, Langley, Langley Eustis, 
um, we have Norfolk Naval, we have Oceana, we have, uh, uh, I said we, uh, like Langley used to, like, here is uh, Fort Monroe is where we're at now. And so there, it's there's no, funding no for, a base, but. Yeah, it's no longer a base, so, I mean, whatever you want to call it. Okay. So it's now it's a fortress for the state police and the no, it's not uh, a Hampton police. No, it's not we're, we're actually, we, we actually rent this place. But, okay. <laughs> However you want to define it. No, y'all, I mean, y'all, no are, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You're, you're like, hub, this is not a fortress for state police. The state police are hubbed here, and y'all obviously are doing training here. So we, we, we just filmed training here. And then over here, you have training for the Hampton police. And so ultimately, this is funded by the people because ultimately, if our tax, if y'all are paying lease on this, I'm sure it's not coming out of your individual pocket and any of these other people's pockets. I pay state pockets. taxes, too. No, you pay your taxes, but it's not coming out of your personal pocket yeah, to it's personally coming out of my, It's coming out of my paycheck because I pay taxes, too. So, technically, yes, it is. I okay. mean, I get I get taxes taken out of my paycheck for the state and for federal. So, okay. I'm still So, so ultimately, it. ultimately, what we would like is complete transparency. Like I said, with, with body cam footage, like I said, when individuals uh, murdered by the police, would they would to like have to have body it. cameras. Like I said, if you would contact So, do y'all have a petition or something going for that? Have, or is it? Do you have... If you have contact with your delegates, question them and ask them why the state police does not have body cameras and ask them how much funding it is. Um, I can't give you the numbers because I don't have them with me right now. But yeah, we would love to have body cameras because okay. it would it would actually be transparent so that people can see what we have to deal with as well. So like I said, we, it's not a decision that the state police itself can make. Money is not, we just don't control how much money we get. It's funded to us. Okay. And so it's not just a, it's not just a one year thing. It has to be continuous money that comes in. Gotcha. And so um, they had money readily available for COVID relief, and they had money readily available I, for all this other type of stuff. But that's for something this that once again, you that's for the people that you voted into office. That has nothing to do with us. So all the COVID relief, those are those are those are the decisions by the people that you voted into office. That. Yeah. The citizens of Virginia voted into office. That has nothing to do with state police. So what 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 would it say? Are y'all possibly able to activate a if anything? If y'all can't get cell phone, if y'all can't get body cam footage, y'all able to activate cell phones? Are y'all active like your personal or or company cell phones? I'm pretty sure everybody has a cell phone. Are y'all able to turn on a cell phone in the acts of these interactions? Is that not possible? So you want everybody to use their personal cell phones? I mean, at the, in order to ensure everybody's safety, yes. I mean, if you're here to protect and serve, I would say that turning on a body camera I, I that could potentially. I would use my personal cell phone to activate. Why? Well, because yeah. if something if something happened, then you would have it documented. If something well, different, our, if something most, different most didn't our, happen, you would have it documented as well. With, most of our cars are equipped with cameras. But that's the vehicle. Once you're once you're in somebody's face, you can't see what their hands are doing. You can't see what's going on in the car, um, etc. You can so, literally only see what's going on from the car. So then we're going to be it's a, it's a both people's safety issue. It's a, it's a it's a person y'all pulling over because everybody y'all pulling over is not a criminal. So let me answer it. Go ahead. So you don't want to be interrupted, so then don't interrupt me. It goes both ways, correct? So like I said, it's a safety issue. So once again, you're putting officer safety at line. So we're going to be holding a camera, but then at the same time, if someone tries to attempt to do something, run or attempt to kill us. We, we have a camera that we're holding in our hand. But you don't have to hold it in your hand. You have a, a, a slit right there that, you go, that, that can hold a gadget. So let me and see your camera. You can actually slip it right, right here. Okay. And it'll be real easy. So if, I start, so if I start running, if I start running or if I need... I, Nothing's happening. Yeah. No, how, how am I going to... It's still happening. It's, yeah. It's, it's, I mean, you could you could play it any which way you want to. Yeah, I know, and like you just pull this right. You can yeah, put a, you, can, you can, can put a strap in there. You can put you Velcro. Can pull it any which way you like, want there's to. a lot of different it, things it you can do. It fits perfectly into your narrative. I mean, I understand. No, no I'm saying we we have we but have I vests even, and we we have GoPros. Over. You can put it on your hell. You can helmet. You can put it on your shoulder. Like, there's many different ways you can set like it up. Like I said, it's not. If you would have your delegates and a vote on it, that'd be great. Okay. We could put it. We could put it wherever they want to. We could, if they give it to us, we could put it here. We can attach it here. We would love it. Mm -hmm. So. So you're. I'm you're not blaming. fighting. I'm asking questions. No, you're you're being argumentative because I already saw your first video that you posted. Oh, uh, that was my, fast. My officers, my supervisors came and asked you if you wanted to film, but you just decided to say to sit there and not say anything. We want to you film. So what what day can we come back and film? Well, they gave you the opportunity. So is that and, over? And you, yeah, they're, they're already gone. You, they gave you the opportunity, but you chose but not to. But you're here. You can tell us when we can come back. So you want me to train for you by myself? No, I'm telling you, you can tell me when we can come back and film. Okay, um, let me give you my card, and you can call me, and I'll let you know. 
Okay. All right. calcification ratio of, of um, since you were looking for the black officers we have different training on different days mm -hmm. um, there's actually more than one out here and we actually have females out here that we're training but it's hard to distinguish them when they're when they're outfitted um, with the equipment that they have on so um, I can also get you those numbers too so you can actually see who you consider I guess you were calling them B cops or the big goons so you can actually see how many black police officers that we do have and what we'll, we'll actually black troopers that we do have that'd be great um like we'd, i said love to have you that can data. just email me and give me um all the information that you want and i will email it to you when um, i get your email okay and so last but not least so we have a police forum coming up with the chiefs of police from several different cities would we be able to get a state police liaison a higher up and I that i haven't seen anything on that the, no, but I'm asking. It, it is. It oh, is yeah. coming. Oh yeah. send the inf information and the invitation. So yes, yeah, so as of right now, we have Newport News, uh, Norfolk, Ian, and York, York, York County Sheriff's Department um, chiefs all willing to participate in the conversation of of um. Is, this, of, is this the dinner one that you're talking about? There's. It's not a dinner. It's okay. it's, it's it's a uh, uh, pretty much a town meeting. Um, where we'll be Where's asking a questions. Town meeting? We're putting it together. We're trying to make it uh, most convenient for everybody because we have individuals coming from Charlottesville as well. So we want to have like a centralized location. Yeah. So it's just pretty much based off if the you RCPs. Us, if you send us the invitation and um, you give it to us in a, in a timely fashion, not like, hey, we're going to have it tomorrow. No, no, no. It, it'll, um, be, it'll be in a timely fashion. Yeah. We're putting enough, everybody has plenty enough time to, you know, get everything in place and, and yeah, all the good we, stuff. We would love that. Okay. Um, but like you said, um, I saw on your site that you're looking for volunteers and some of my troopers were like, hey, how do we do that? How do we become a volunteer for Black Lives Matter? It's for 757. Because okay. you're looking for interns and stuff. So that way you can send me that information as well. We can. So that'd be great. Yep. So we, um, we have plenty of troopers that would love to be interacting with you guys. Yeah, hey, as long as they're trying to interact and not, as they said to me, interact and not infringe, that's fine. But um, they're coming in to infringe, get intel, that's a whole other problem. No. Okay. But, no, we're not intrusive like this. We're we're, we're actually not intrusive like what? Um, like this? Y'all can come to our protest and no, film. Like we I don't said, mind. Like if we ask questions, we I mean like we mean intrusive. We come we come to have, have questions answered. How is this intrusive? Like I said, like <laughs> this I is said, a public space. You, now you want to film? My supervisors actually gave you the opportunity. They were actually going to show you a demonstration, but you chose not to speak to them. And then as they walked away, then you became very argumentative with them. That's but in your that's, opinion. Well, that was a lot of opinions too. On a the lot, comments of, that of are course, right. cops' opinions. A lot of the means. comments that are not cops were also said that. But like I said, I yeah. mean, you it's, can't, you lot. can't be, you can't come and, and um, be intrusive and What's argumentative. Intru Define and intrusive. Let me look intrusive up real quick. And trying What's to intrusive? cause an argument when we're actually trying to better relations. It, does, mm -hmm. it doesn't work that way. It, it has to go both ways. Mm -hmm. So intrusive. Let's see. Let's, let's so see. So just email me your um, questions and concerns, and I'll get back to you. And then um, I'll and also let me know about the volunteering because I had a couple troopers ask about the volunteering as well. Because they saw it up on your website looking for interns and volunteers and stuff. So right. I'm causing a disruption or annoyance through being unwelcome or uninvited. So am I unwelcome and uninvited? No, that, that's not an, at all. That's what intrusive means. No, but means. you can change the narrative all you want. That's, that's not it. This is definition. This so, is what dictionary but, says. So like I said, at your earlier video, you were filming, and then you didn't want to speak to any of the, the supervisors that physically asked you if you wanted to um, do any type of filming and actually see them train. Uh, but I'm you now chose, saying yes. But you like chose, I, I'm, well, well but you, you had your here. opportunity. You chose not to speak to them. You literally go back and look at your this video. This was two and hours ago. So the opportunity is gone now? Yeah, because everybody in two left. hours. But yeah. I said, we can come back. It's not, it's like, it has to be today. I'm pretty sure you don't train one day out of the year. Well, we train throughout the state, but like I said, I'll, I'll we can let come you there know. too. We have okay. vehicles, we have cars that have uh, wheels on them, we have gas in the cars. I understand it's not a problem. That. No one's saying that you don't. So that's what I'm saying. So we can come but wherever. See that, those type of comments, it, like I said, it goes both ways. But you call us intrusive. Ways. So this type of, you're saying positive both disruption ways. and we're an annoyance. Like we're trying to help you. So as, are you are you intrusive like when you I pull said, people over? Like I said, we're trying to go both ways. You want to just go one way to fit the narrative. We know it's Pride so Month. Like we I all want to go both they, ways, but I mean, what can we away, do? That's when you started to be argumentative with them. Well, the comments now saying that you're being mean. Well, okay. 
So, so I, so I, so I take their I word for I it? I guess I am mean. I, I guess. I mean, people don't know. You don't know me, and they don't know me either. If they want to call me mean, then the, let, let, let that be. I'm just trying to here to help you. I literally came out here okay. to so ask if you let's, wanted let's, let's what set I up could now. help to assist you. Let's set up now. Let's set up two things right now in person. We can set up. I can't send it to you in person because we can't set I don't up. have that's any, cool. that's cool. any dates It'll be up the road. So, and, and what we would like to accomplish eventually is a ride along. Okay, you don't do ride along. So we can't set up a ride along. No. What we would like to set up but is you can a, set up a ride along with the so, city. So we can set up a filming of this training, like you said, that we're, we're being offered, correct? Um, like I said, you were offered to do the training. So we are cool. offered. So the offer is that I offer will, expired? I will look into it. So the offer hasn't expired? I will look into it. Like I said, you, you email me and um, I will e email like all the questions and concerns that you had. I will email them back to you. All right. Okay. Hope you have a great awesome. day. Awesome. Thank you. You too. Y'all know how we do. Checking in, checking out. We'll get it going.